have an interesting topic today. Who is the most underrated bodybuilder of the 1990s golden era of bodybuilding? For 20 years, since the 90s, I get a lot of fans coming to me and telling me, Milos, you competed in the wrong era. It's the hardest era. And you were underrated. You're supposed to compete later. You would do so much better. And I'm going to tell you, I would never trade my place with any other era or time. I competed in the 1990s with the greatest champions, Dorian Yates, Ronnie Coleman, Flex Wheeler, Sean Ray, Kevin Lavroni, Vince Taylor, Lila Brada, Nasha Asambari, Chris Cormier, Paul Dillette, Lee Priest, list goes on. And I managed, besides Sean Ray, to be the only other guy to qualify 10 consecutive years for Mr. Olympia from 1991 to 2000. Many people don't know that. So yeah, I appreciate the comments that I was underrated, but uh, I had so much fun. Uh, the highest I ever placed three times at Olympia was stand, but uh, it does matter. People don't realize there's so little differences between first and whatever 15th place. But when I'm asked who is, in my opinion, most underrated, because I was on the stage with all of them, I've seen them up close, I competed, traveled with them. There are three names I'm going to tell you. One, Aaron Baker, number two, Thierry Pastel, and number three, and my choice for the most underrated bodybuilder of 1990s or all time would be Charles Claremont. One of my idols, one of the most perfectly assembled physiques of all time. I'm gonna share some videos with you and I'm gonna let you see just how good Charles really was. Today, when bodybuilding historians, analysts, and true fans sentimentally talk about this classic look that bodybuilders had in the 80s and early 90s, this is what they have in mind. Charles Claremont is a perfect example of that classic bodybuilding look we all love and appreciate. And what do you really mean when you say classic bodybuilding? It's not this classic bodybuilding that is now going on limited in weight and height. We didn't uh, limit our weight back in the day, we just looked classic. And look at how Charles is looking. This is 1993, uh, his uh, best year in the uh, IBB. Uh, when we talk classic, first thing that comes in mind is aesthetic. And aesthetics used to be highly valued. And this is why Charles Claremont managed to win four IBB Pro Shows in 1990s. This is an example of one that he won, and then he won against not just anybody. On the same stage, same day, there was great Flex Wheeler, Kevin Lebroni, and many of us competing. Charles Claremont presenting this kind of physique, this kind of aesthetics, conditioning, balance, symmetry, proportion, and presentation, dominated the competition, came out of nowhere, and won this show and three more shows in the 1990s. So this is bodybuilding at its best, Charles Claremont. Here we have NABA competition. So I'm gonna introduce you a little bit to Charles Claremont and his history. He competed in different federation, not the IBB. It was NABA and he dominated 85, 86, 88, 89, and 1990 NABA Pro Universe with this kind of physique. In 1992, he did came to uh, IBB, but uh, in all honesty, he wasn't prepared and he didn't even get noticed. He competed three times in uh, 1992 and didn't really um, accomplish much. But 1993, he came back with a vengeance and won England, Finland, France, and Spain Grand Prix. So as you can see in Europe, with European judges, he was highly ranked. Okay, he was fourth in Germany, and you're gonna see the video footage from this show as well, and arguably he could have won that show. And he was fourth in Night of the Champions as well, and arguably 
he could have won 1993 Night of the Champions as well. I was right there, uh, standing right next to him, and uh, you know, if I, I would be a judge, I would give him a night. For whatever reason, okay, in uh, America, especially in uh, Mr. Olympia competitions, he didn't uh, place that well. He placed seventh, 93 and eight, 94, uh, 10th, 95. So he didn't really, uh, you know, manage to be a factor at Mr. Olympia. But uh, then again, just look at his physique and uh, tell me if you agree with me that this is most underrated bodybuilder in the 1990s uh, by none. That definition, that symmetry proportion balance is hard to see nowadays. Great Charles Clement. And here we come in 1993 British Grand Prix with two of the greatest of the 90s, Kevin Lebroni and Flex Wheeler in a signature round. Right. Uh, you can see they uh, put Charles in the middle, which is usually favorite place. Turn and right. when you analyze his physique, okay, for those uh, nitpickers, turn you're gonna say, okay, front. he wasn't so wide. So maybe, Back in line, please. just like Flex Wheeler, he didn't have a wide clavicles, wide shoulders. But uh, then again, neither did uh, Phil Heath, seven times Mr. Olympia. You know, so right. it's all, uh, you know, for the argument. But uh, if you look at the physiques around muscle bodies, symmetry, proportion, tie-ins, uh, separation, um, density. Side chest. Uh, the high quality, and most importantly, that aesthetics coupled with conditioning, you can see why Charles actually beat Kevin and Flex in this show. That was a shocker, absolute shocker, because Flex and Mary Mary Kevin were seven. highly favored. Uh, they could have won Mr. Olympia at any given year that they competed. Everybody knows just how good Flex and Kevin really are. But here's a newcomer coming from different federation, which usually means he would be penalized uh, by the IVB, he managed to beat him, and he won four shows in the 1993. This is just one of them, and uh, you can analyze pose by pose and tell me if you think this is a fair decision. I know that Flex was quite upset after the, after he lost, but uh, then again, uh, Flex was here not at his best, and. Uh, Charles was. Side so tricep. There was a difference. Again, uh, just standing next to them, competing with those guys, uh, is absolutely the greatest accomplishment of my life. But because I was right there, two inches away <laughs> from Charles, and I see him on the stage, off the stage, abdominal, uh, and see him uh, uh, right like this on the videos, I can tell you first handedly that uh, uh, his videos and pictures actually don't do him justice. He was much better in person. And you can see now that he puts this uh, ab shot. Every detail was right there. Super Thank you, back abs, line, please. Deep separation, unbelievable. And there you have it. For those of you that knew about Charles, I hope you enjoyed this little trip through the memory lane seeing him once again at his glory days, battling on stage with uh, Kevin Leveroni and Flex Wheeler, winning those competitions. And for those of you that didn't know about Charles, I'm 100% sure you're gonna appreciate him. There is no human being that can see Charles' physique and say nothing but the compliments. But if uh, he is most underrated bodybuilder of all time and the 1990s golden era, like he is uh, in my opinion, uh, you know, I would uh, like to ask you to leave the comments below and tell me who is most underrated for you. Now, for those of you that want to reach Charles, he is on Instagram and he's also coaching in a body limit gym near London, St. Albans. So you can contact him and I can promise you this is hum humble champion that has so much knowledge to share. I'm going to leave you with a few more of his uh, moments, you know, from 1993, his best year, 
and I hope you're going to enjoy it. Let's go. Stay in this shape year round. I don't really go overboard with, with diet, you know, off going off my diet. So I, I tend to um, eat what I want, but in moderation. And I would also, um, I, I don't like to get too far out of shape because I hate dieting. So it's easier, to, yeah, exactly. So, you know, it's easier to, uh, to diet when you haven't got a lot to lose. Yes, of course I'd love to win tomorrow, but you know, it just depends on the condition of the other guys. I mean, if they've been holding their condition, then obviously it's going to be a tough contest. Abdominal dive. Thank you, Charles Clemmer. Quarter turn to the right. Quarter turn to the right. Quarter turn to the right. Quarter turn facing front. Back in line, please. Front double bicep. Left break. Side chest. Rear double bicep. Let's break. Abdominal inside. Front double bicep. Let's break. Side chest. Rear double bicep. Side tricep. Abdominal and thigh.
Thank you, Charles Clemmer. Front double bicep. Side tricep. So front double bicep. Leg spread. Side chest. Rear double bicep. Tricep. Thank you. Back in line, please. 